Hey guys, today on JD Cars, we're going to be installing BMW ski racks on a Thule Aeroblade setup. So in case you didn't know, I'm an avid skier in the winter. Unfortunately, this car isn't exactly optimal at the moment for hauling my skis to and from the mountain. Unfortunately, my car has very limited options on it, which means it does not have the rear folding seat option, so I can't fold down my rear seats. I can just barely get them in there and lie them in the passenger seat or in the back seat. I'm really not a fan of that because it has a lot of wear on the seats and the interior as a whole. If you saw my Thule Aeroblade and Pro Ride installation on this car for my bike, you'll probably already be familiar with the Aeroblade installation process. Aeroblades are the bars that go across the roof and Thule offers a number of accessories compatible with the Aeroblade. Now my dad actually has two sets of BMW ski racks, but at the moment they're not currently compatible the Thule Aeroblade. However, if that's not a problem for me, we'll be modifying them and making it work. If you're interested in a more detailed process of the Aeroblade installation, you can check out that video up here. But right now, I'm just gonna throw those on really quickly and then we'll get to retrofitting the BMW ski racks. Okay, these puppies are on. Now it's time to hack the BMW ski rack to fit onto the Thule Aeroblade. So this is the BMW ski rack. Obviously, we're gonna have two of these mounted on the car. I do really like this design because you have the top part that opens that can accept a snowboard or anything with a large width like that. Then you have a second part that opens up right here, which can hold up to four pairs of skis. So BMW made an effort to make this incompatible with the Thule Aeroblade, but they couldn't JD Cars proof it. It's a little rounded piece on the end here, which doesn't allow the rack to slide into the Aeroblade. It being made of plastic, there's a very simple solution to this, and that's a hacksaw. And the one other very minor thing is on the other end here, and it's this little metal plate that they have turned sideways to make the width of this wider. Really all you have to do is come in here, open this up, loosen the screw going through the plate, and simply rotate the plate so it's in the skinny orientation, and come back to the other side and tighten it down to secure it. Now this BMW ski rack is all set to be mounted on the Thule Aeroblade bar. So installing this couldn't be much easier simply open up the top part, the ski compartment, and fold down this latch right here. Now I'll wanna access my skis from the passenger side, so I'm gonna orient it with the mouth opening towards the passenger side. And once it's in the desired position, flip off the tab, and if needed, tighten down the flathead screw to ensure it's secure on the aero bar. All right, so I've got both of them on there nice and centered. Now I'm just gonna throw and lock the end caps on onto the arrow blades, and then we'll throw some skis in there to see what it looks like. I just did a little test fit here with the skis. I ran into a minor issue in trying to put the skis into the diagonal slots. Now this is just specific to my skis, but on my race skis here, they have race mounting plates for the bindings, which pushes the binding out a lot farther, and it was just barely making contact with the roof because these arrow blades are so low profile. And my all mountain foam sort of powder skis here are so wide that they really don't fit well to those small spots. Luckily BMW made this a very versatile mount, so I should be able to put them in the top mount with no problem at all. It's a little hard to see in the garage here, but I think this setup looks pretty sweet. It's really cold out and my camera battery is flashing at me here. So that's all I've got for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like below and subscribe if you've yet to do so. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time on JD Cars.